Hello, grade nine gators. I'm Mrs. Lee, one of the vice principals here at Donald A. Wilson. And I'm Ms. Palmer, a special education resource teacher, phys ed teacher, and science teacher at Donald A. Wilson. We are super excited to have all 363 of you here today for today's huddle up assembly. You have been specially chosen to join us as you are the future of Wilson. You are with us for the next three plus years. Your efforts and attitudes will shape the climate here at Wilson. You can all make a difference to make Wilson a positive, safe, and inclusive environment for yourself and all your peers. The Huddle Up group here at Donald A. Wilson has been working hard to promote bullying, prevention, and kindness. We are airing a podcast called The Swampcast, sharing interviews and the locker room episodes, using Instagram through Student Council to run events for spirit that foster positive school climate and listen to student voice. Uh, thank you everyone for coming to the Swampcast. This is going to be our podcast for the Huddle Up group with Wilson. What is your role as a guidance counselor and what made you choose to work as a guidance counselor? Yeah, so this year I'm the grade 11 guidance counselor. Talk to us. That's what I wanted to show is that it's not worth it. And, you know, that's where you see individuals and then groups like, like yourselves where you start different things to talk about it. Even just talking about it is a, is a step in the right direction, right? Conversation about it, that's a step in the right direction. If we sit there and we hide under a rock and pretend it's not there, it's, you're never going to address a problem. It's going to be really bad, right? Hey Gators, my name's Megan and I'm one of your Huddle Up Ambassadors here at Wilson. Today, I'm here with the STEM Club executives to ask a few questions about their club and what they're doing to promote a positive school environment through virtual means this year. Hello everybody, welcome back to this week's Swampcast. This week we're joined by Maggie and Monica, who are both the deputy and the prime minister of school. How are you guys doing? Hi, how are you guys? Gators, my name is Monica and I'm a member of the Huddle Up team at Wilson and I'm here to interview Ms. Joseph. If you don't know her, she's the voice of Wilson, she does the announcements, and she's an administrative assistant. Us, this week we're joined by Nick. Hey, how's it going? Uh, he's obviously been a student at our school for a while. Uh, we figured he'd be a great person to talk to about university as well as just average class life. So Nick, how you doing? I've uh, been good lately, man. I'm keeping myself busy and uh, staying safe. So what can Wilson students do to create a positive environment for themselves and their peers? Yeah, so from the DEC club, we uh, try and promote surrounding yourself with friends and family who are going to lift you up, and hopefully our club can be uh, a place where you can meet all these awesome people to help uh, bring you up. You all know the story behind Pink Shirt Day. But if you want to wear more than just a pink shirt, you can donate. Here are where some of your donations go. So, you may ask, how can a new Gator get more involved in our school? Well, a great way to do so is to just stay on top of Wilson's social medias. They post on Instagram frequently with new events, initiatives, clubs, sports teams, anything that could help you get involved with the school. Join the sports teams and join the clubs that pique your interest. Whether you think you're good enough for the specific activity or not, join them anyways. You're gonna create such a good sense of community and you'll be welcomed with open arms. There's absolutely nothing to be afraid of. Engage with your classmates, engage with your peers because it's gonna make the events that are run at our school that much more meaningful and it's gonna make the high school experience that much better. My advice would be to do your homework. I know it seems easy and I know it just seems like you're doing better stuff and having fun doing like other things. But I'm telling you, all those kids who slack off in grade nine are always the ones who are in 50s and 60s by the time grade 12 comes. I personally would tell them all to be yourself and be honest with yourself. Coming into high school, you're gonna meet a lot of people who are unique and are very different in their own ways. It's always important to show them who you truly are so that you can find a friends group that's going to support you for who you truly are. The teachers at Wilson are here to support you. So if you're looking for some advice or you need some help, I would go speak to a teacher you trust or go speak to guidance. The calming room is available for you on the Wilson Hub, which is linked on the Wilson Student Council Instagram. There you can find meditation, yoga, music, sounds, and many more resources that are all available to you. 
As students, you can turn to friends, classmates, teachers, and other staff members for support and help if you're facing an issue or you or someone you know is being bullied or discriminated against. You can stand up for each other by becoming an ally and a friend to those who need it, encourage them to stand up for themselves and stand by in a time of need. To stand up for one another it means to walk away with the victim, bring the situation to someone's attention whether you feel it's your place or not, speak up to the bully, and help come up with ways to address the problem and ways to prevent it from happening again. While doing all this and more, it's always important to stay confident, stay safe, and stay kind. There's also a Wilson hotline posted on the Wilson website. This bullying hotline lets you reach out for help anonymously. The school will act on it and ensure that you will feel safe and respected at Wilson. The easiest way though is to make sure everyone feels included and comfortable. When we create a safe space for everyone that lets everyone feel a part of something bigger, we leave little to no room for anyone to feel put down or hurt. An easy way to make a difference at Wilson is just by reaching out. If you happen to see someone who looks like they might not be having the best day, take the initiative and say hi. Be their friend. It can mean the world of a difference. Stay kind and stay you, Gators. And now a special message from our Wilson senior student leaders and our Huddle Up team. Bullying can happen in different ways. It can be verbal, it can be physical, or even social. But in all cases, it is hurtful and harmful. At Wilson, one in every 10 students have experienced bullying in some form. Ask yourself, are you reducing that number? Or are you the reason it won't change? The biggest challenge in reducing bullying isn't identifying bullies. Rather, it's standing up and lifting others up. Do you stand by and watch them hurt others, or do you stop them? When you say nothing, you say it's okay. We all need to speak and stand against bullying. And when you see intimidation, aggression, violence, insults, gestures, or abuse to one of your classmates, it's time to act. Everyone has the right to feel that they belong in matter at Wilson. By standing together, we can make our school a safe and welcoming place for everyone. If you're experiencing bullying, ask for support from your Huddle Up team, your peers, and teachers because we are here for you and we support you. Remember Wilson. Remember Wilson. Remember Wilson. Remember Wilson. Remember Wilson. Strong people don't cut others down. They stand up for themselves and others. What starts here, it stops here. here. It's, it's time, time to have a We are Wilson. And now, without further ado, Huddle Up would like to introduce to you Jason Calero, Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment.